Defense systems are a go. Hello, this is Matt Dragon of Channel Madreus, and today I wanted to make a sort of a sequel, a follow-up video on a video that I have posted on my channel. I took it down until I could finally tweak it now and make sure I could repeat what I have done. And the point of this video is, is to show that you are able to record Forza Horizon 4 using OBS. Now, it took me a little while to figure this out. I was able to actually record it on a pretty low setting, but no one wants to be able to, no one wants to watch that. No one wants to watch a blurry mess. So I was trying to figure out how can I record it at a higher quality setting and it being it will be smooth. And I think I figured it out. And I'm going to show you the settings I have going. Then I'm going to swap over to Forza Horizon 4 to show you that it actually works. Now, mind you, to be able to record Forza Horizon 4, you have to record it in a desktop mode or, or something similar. The display capture, I guess, is what it's properly called here in OBS. You have to use this. Otherwise, the game freaks out and crashes because it thinks that you're trying to hack into it, which you're obviously not. You're trying to record it. Here we are. I'm going to show you the settings. One thing you will notice, if you follow my mouse here, I'm recording at 30 FPS. If I try recording at 60, I run into an issue saying that the recording software gets overloaded and then need to turn it down. So 30 FPS seems to be the magic number, at least with my system, which is a uh, it's, it's an AMD FX8, what's it, 8320 with a, uh, well, actually, let's bring up the, s the stats here. We're just doing this right off the cuff. So let's bring this up here in my system specs. Okay, I am running a Radeon RX 580 graphics card, and the CPU is an 8320 AMD processor so you see that there i have the cpu overclocked about uh, four gigahertz and the graphics card i don't think i have it tweaked at all i think i just have it running as a uh, factory settings so let's uh, obviously if your system specs are lower you will have to dial it back further than what i have if your system specs are better obviously you'll have a little bit more playing uh, room to play around with but enough talking about the preliminaries let's get into actually taking a look at the settings okay so we're going to first look at the video obviously this is i have it recording the full screen full 1080p but it's going at 30 fps it's not preferable you probably could get away with a higher FPS if you use a program like the Re Relive program that AMD has or uh, NVIDIA's offerings. You can get a higher FPS because it plays well with Forza Horizon 4, but they're a little bit more difficult to stream with. Like, if, for example, if you have a bunch, if you have a layout that you like already set up ready to go, then you have to then figure out how to use it with Relive, and that's a whole mess that I'm sure many of you out there want to avoid. So let's take a look at my output settings here. Don't worry about my streaming settings here. That's not what we're looking at. We're looking at the recording settings. For me, I am using the the AMD processing system, the H264. I'm sure you could probably do it with the uh, base recording system. I think it's like X, X2 something. If you do it at least a similar sort of system using VBR, which is with the system I have certain running right now, I'm sure you could probably replicate. Now you can see here my quality preset. I have it running unbalanced. The profile is main, and the prof and the profile level is automatic. That's basically pretty much basic right off the bat. There, I'm using VBR. Now to have the best recording possible, you want to use a constant QP. 
and oh just to actually i don't want to play around with that now because that will adjust the recording settings here and that's something i want to avoid doing well actually let's see here i'm going to see if i can open up obs again with this here it's basically the main sliders that you're looking at here is your these op the lower the number uh, qp the lower the number the better the quality and with these you want obviously quality is going to be faster and high is going to give you a better uh, again a better picture quality but of course we're unable to do that with the uh, forza horizon 4. so we are have to use vbr now i'm going to hit cancel here i'm going to close this out i'm going to swatch back over here i think let's see vbr here's my bitrate options well, here and here's that QP again that they were talking about over in here. But it's the I frame and the P frame. This is talking about minimum and maximum. Again, I I don't play around with those settings. This is the things that are more important to what we're trying to do is the target bitrate and the peak bitrate, which reset itself. So we're going to back out of it and come back into it. The target bitrate is what we're aiming for. The peak bitrate is what we would like <laughs> to hit. So I want to hit around uh, 40,000. That's my bitrate, and my peak bitrate is going to be five, uh, 45,000. Everything else I leave basically the same using AMD. So we're just going to leave that as is. We're not going to touch that. And now I'm going to jump into Forza Horizon. I have it running in the background the whole time I've been talking with you here. So we're going to now jump into uh, the game here. All right, so you got the game here up and running. Obviously this game is pretty darn loud. <laughs> As you see here, it's I'm trying to do everything I can to give the uh, recording software something to work hard with. You got plenty of stuff moving in the background, which a lot of recording software does not like dealing with. I'm not exactly flying, but it's just, I'm definitely moving quickly. Another test here is to go bouncing through the woods. That's a good way to test your recording software, because it has to render all this, all these changing pixels and everything. And as you can see, it's still looking good. I mean, you're going to get a little bit of pixelation here and there, but I'm not dropping frames, which is the big thing that was happening when you tried recording at 60 FPS. So if you're having issues recording at a certain frame rate, try dialing back, and possibly that might fix your issues. As I said, I just wanted to make this as a quick video to show that you can record Forza Horizon 4 using OBS. And of course, you don't just have to use these recording settings to record Forza. You can record any other racing games, sports games, fighting games, whatever other games you want to use. As I said, you probably probably want to use that QP, I think it was what it was called, uh, th that first setting there, the, the uh, uh, that has the two sliders there that I showed before. If you want optimal recording settings. But uh, as I said, if you just want to have something that you just set and forget, the settings I showed there should do the a trick. And if you want to record at a higher FPS, you can do that on other games. You just won't be able to do that with Forza. So that's uh, that's what I wanted to show. I just wanted to get this out here to show that you are able to record. You just need to go through some hoops before you are able to. So again, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, for, as I said, as you can probably tell, I'm very excited to be sharing this with you. And I hope to see some of your videos here online using OBS recording this game, because it is a very fun game to play. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.